again everybody and welcome back once again to Life in the Woods Renaissance. I haven't actually played in a while but we did get some stuff done. I finished off uh, most of this little storage hut and I also added some more lighting to the fields mostly for safety and just like to be able to see what the heck is going on especially in the middle of the night um, but also uh, I think it might, I don't know if it affects growth or not. It does have a regular torch, but it's in a lantern, so I don't know. Um, but there actually also has been an update to Life in the Woods. Um, apparently the way that it was installing dynamic lights wasn't correct, so it wasn't actually working. But now it is, so hopefully uh, the lighting issues basically eh, should be sorted um, on pretty much every angle um, but all the videos that have been playing recently were pre-recorded before the update so sorry about that but I have all this nice lighting in here and my lovely little garden and I'll show you that in a sec but I also do have a little buddy over here holding a soybean this is the zombie villager oh, of course it's getting tonight uh, the zombie villager was attacking me and I figured out since he picked something up that he would stay and I managed to trap him in this terrible pile of cobble. So we're going to have to go to the nether and try to get the equipment. Do I have to go to the nether? I can never remember the potions, but we'll have to see if we can try and convert this guy and then we can have a villager that like, I don't know, maybe works in the storage facility or something or tends to the, tends to the crops. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I'll show you what we've done in here. I've got the roof all done. I tweaked some stuff on the outside, I think, too. I can't honestly remember. Um, I put some glowstone in here just to light things up. I've got all of the basic shelving area here. And I put in, what are they called? Um, not the slaves, but the, what is it, drawer? I think, yeah, drawer trim. I put the trim drawers in the corner behind here so they all do attach. I think that's what you're supposed to do. And then I also did <laughs> put a little trap door in here. And what we've got is all of the processing stuff. So we've got a crafting table, an auto crafting table, a cutting board, a stone basin, an easy crafting table, a churn, a quern. And then this set here is just to make um, firm tofu. So it's three pressers and four hoppers and a drawer. And then we also have an oven, uh, a market, and then some of the supplies to make bread and toast, um, salt, honey, wax. And then this here is to make toast, I think. That's, that's what I made this for, right? Dang it! Did I make it so I can't get into this chest? Well, anyways, I'll sort that out. I'll just put like a half slab there or something. But, uh, wait, no, no, this is toast. Uh, I see. Yeah. So this is toast. And then this is for honey, I think. Honey or juice or whatever. So basically if you want to just juice something, that's the one presser that goes down into that. And then this is, you put the bread in and then it gets, or you put the dough in here and then it gets cooked into bread, goes into here and then it goes down here and gets cooked into toast. So I should probably also have another uh, hopper and a chest so that, that has somewhere else to go. And I need to be able to access that. So I do need to tweak this a little bit actually, which I kind of want to do right now. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Do I have any supplies on me? Oh yeah, and I also have guess it's nighttime. I also have all of the supplies to make the drawer controller. Drawer controller. There we go. So three stone, two stone on the bottom, redstone comparators, acacia or whatever kind of basic drawer and a diamond. So let's do that. And I can uh, put that in upstairs. So handy that I, I left myself some to-do list stuff here. <laughs> Uh, that's not... Maybe the basalt doesn't work. Dang it. Um, what else? I do have some cobble on me, which... 
does it uh okay i can do that turn it into regular cobble i think i could just chisel it or whatever but that works too and then let's just cook it in here turn that cobble into smooth stone and so i guess the basalt didn't work we'll try the regular smooth stone because i think that's what yeah it just says stone so we'll try that that should work and do i have um any more gray whack i want to make um, a half slab of gray whack i probably hit it somewhere on myself okay let's go let's go sleep i guess yeah i don't think these torches work still but hopefully hypothetically the lighting situation should be better. Fingers crossed. All right, I know there's a bed in here. Let's do this. Let's sleep away the night. And we'll get ourselves one more piece of gray whack, make half slabs, and then hopefully that stone should be cooked. Um, I don't even remember where I left anything. It's been a while. All right, basalt, eclogite. I've got some netherrack. I don't think that I actually got any, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> that I, yeah, I didn't get any nether wart when I was in the nether, so that's something I'm going to still have to do. Oh, and I do need to remember to eat. Take care of that situation for sure. How much food do I have? Oh, okay. I made a lot of food. I forgot about that. <laughs> so I made some food. Uh, I made some ginger chicken, some veggie stir fry, stuffed eggplant, garden soup, BLTs. These are with tofu wow i am prepared oh yeah and i've got the coal and the emerald i was going to use a fortune pick on but i haven't done that yet this is just for the pathways all right obsidian stone I'm trying to remember what's going on in the world right now uh yeah okay where is my this is all my food which I need to freaking sort out. Okay, we've got some gray wax labs. Awesome, I only need one. Oh, and I need that. I think we're good to go. Yeah, once we make the drawer controller, then we can, oh wait, no, I'm gonna have to uh, do this stuff there. Otherwise that's gonna drive me crazy. All right, so. No, it's not the desk. I don't want the basalt. And then, will I see that one? I think I will. So I need another basalt. I'm just going to get a bunch of basalt and replace all these for my own. Whatever. <laughs> so I don't go crazy. No, let me out. There is the basalt cobblestone. I guess that's, yeah, it's more of that. More of that. I also would like to make a potion stand. We'll deal with that in due time as we sort all of this out. Okay, so that, that, that. Oh, I put way too many down. Whatever, man. It's fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. What is that doing there? That does not go there. There. That makes me happier. Okay. So then we can do this. Ta-da! Right. And we'll... What will we do? We will put... Whatchamacallit? I need iron. I have iron. It's just not in my face. Two, three, four, five. And then I need another chest. More than I have in my inventory. Let's do that and do this and then oh dang it um let's move this out of my way slowly so so slowly okay all right and then so we've got that, got that, and then got 
that and oh dang it that's okay it's fine it's fine it's fine we prepared for this there we go fantastic Ugh, i should have brought another half slab i could put in here well i guess it's just a slab but there we go so now when i cook oh stuff it'll go into there and then if i squeeze stuff in here it'll go in there fantastic how many dough do i have 20 ah So like if I do that, yeah, I could use another hopper above it too, but that's not, this is a very, there's just too many hoppers and too many things. It's not very organized. So let's try to make this again with the plain stone, oak drawer, redstone comparators, and the diamond drawer controller. Awesome. So that goes there and hopefully that should sort out all of those things. Let us. Drop off some stuff and let's put this in here just temporarily to get it out of my space, out of my face. Now we need some food. Um, I'd like to organize it, or I, I'm thinking I would like to organize it the way they have them here. But I don't, I don't, I don't know, that's, that's going to be kind of time consuming. All right, let's, let's take a look. So we got onion, garlic, scallion, and then leek. Onion, garlic, scallion, and then leek. Uh, scallion. Yeah, this is going to be time consuming. <laughs> garlic, onion. Do we have any leeks? That's not what I want to do with that. Do we have any leeks? It's more onions, more garlic, more garlic. Uh, nope. Oh, wait, wait, I think there was more more onion. There we go. Fantastic. Garlic, onion, leeks, scallions. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to just show you guys this one. I'm going to just kind of show off what I'm going to do here. And then maybe I'll set up where everything's going to go and then show you the rest. But So, for example... Um, this is, yeah, I'm probably not going to end up keeping it this way anyways. I'm probably not going to, I'm probably just going to fill things in. Maybe, maybe we won't do the other thing we're thinking of. But so like say onion, garlic, scallion. That's scallion. There we go. Leek. So like I have those four there. My inventory is full of scallions, onions, and garlic. If I do something to this. I can't remember what. It should all go into there. So let's see. There we go. So if I double right click, there we go. All the onions, scallions, garlic, and leek are where they should be. So basically the point is, is that, um, you know, I harvest stuff. I come in through this door and then I just double right click on this drawer controller and it puts everything where it needs to go. So that's the gist of it. That That's the intention. Um, these drawers probably going to fill really quickly. Um, so anything that I really want lots of, I'm going to be putting them in the, the double drawers like this. But I can just rearrange and stuff as I go along. So I'm going to just... Ay, 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 ay. I'm really tempted to just walk in there um, and do some double right clicking and see what happens. So... Nope, that doesn't work. Nope. So you can't just make it fill whatever into whatever, but let's do that, let's do that, let's do that and that. So that'll get rid of whatever was in my inventory. I should be doing this more organized, but ah, this is a, I don't have the patience for that right now. Cherries, cherries don't belong in here, I don't think. Maybe, we'll see, we'll decide decide what goes in here um okay this is gonna drive me nuts i'm gonna do this off camera and then i will join you guys all in one moment all right so we've taken care of all of these chests there was four chests here and then there was another two chests here all double chests um and i've done a little bit of harvesting but i haven't actually harvested everything yet but uh, so far everything is where it should be i had to i caved so they're all organized the way they are in the field 
basically. Um, so it's the first row, second row, third row, fourth row, fifth row, sixth row, seventh row, eighth row, ninth row. And then this is the second tier, second tier, second row, third row. And then I think this is the fourth row is grapes, um, candleberries and mushrooms, but I just put them in their own bigger slots. And then the next row after that is the melons and pumpkins. And then after that is just soybeans and cotton, which I kind of chucked there. And then in between the, the four ones like this, I've also kind of put bigger drawers of some of the things I think I'll use the most. So like onions and garlic, bell peppers and tomatoes, ginger and peanuts. So, so like out of these ones, those are the most, I think ones I would use the most. And then same thing out of this drawer, I think potatoes I'd probably use the most. Out of this drawer, oats I think I'd use the most. Um, just to kind of give those things a little bit extra space. Um, and the only thing left over was 10 leeks. Apparently I've harvested a lot of leeks, but not eaten a lot of leeks. So I'm actually curious, um, what can I do with leeks? That's leeks, ooh, leek bacon soup. That looks pretty yummy. It's an unfulfilling meal though. Uh, Chico roll, garden soup, of course, mixed salad, of course. Those are both light meals. And then I think, what are those? Dang it, it's not what I wanted. Okay, so let's do that. And then that, and then that, and then that. So it's two. Oh, mixed salad is a lot more than garden soup, but that's because you have to make salad dressing. How do you make salad dressing? Um, salad dressing is somewhat complex. Vinegar and vegetable or cooking oil. Vinegar being grape juice. Oh my God. So there's a few steps um, in included in that. But let's see what else. Uh, let's harvest the rest of the fields and then let's make a bunch of food and store it in the bottom. So this is really satisfying. So I didn't think you guys would mind if I shared the experience with you. No? Okay. And then let's get this. Oh wait, no, I need that space. I need all of this space actually. I can't. I don't have space for any of this in my inventory right now. Um, let's do that. Whatever, man. So yeah, we're just gonna have to go through and right click the heck out of everything with our tool in our hand. That's the fastest and most effective way I've found to harvest here. I'd like to make more um, rice areas, like just go along with some, whatchamacallit, uh, I've lost my brain. I just did some of it too. Compost. Go along with some compost, harvest a bunch of it up, and then fill that in in the other areas that have water. I know you actually don't need, I don't know if I mentioned this before, you don't actually need water between compost soil, but I like the look of it and the, like, the balance of it. It helps me, like, instead of just a huge field of crops, it it helps me kind of delineate where everything is and makes everything a little bit less um, confusing and overwhelming, which is important for me. Surprising amount of space in my inventory right now. It's probably because I'm only getting like one or two maybe stacks of things, if anything, which doesn't, I don't know, it's not a huge amount, but it all adds up. So especially as you can see with my gigantic freaking storage area now, Oh yeah, that rice. Oh, I need to actually plant some rice here. I think someone was mentioning they wanted me to plant rice on screen, but I don't know if I've already done that. Basically, you just have to highlight the block below, one block deep, and you have to actually plant the crop, not the seed. So that's it. Easy peasy. So now that area is all done. But yeah, especially with a with a garden of this size, <laughs> it's easier to just click harvest instead of actually paying attention or thinking because it can take a really long time. Sometimes it is fun though to just look around and be like, oh, that's done and that's done and oh, my bag is full. Ugh.